What's up, family? Welcome back to our channel. Back to another video where the binge is going to the family. Just subscribe. All right, so. It's just weird because, like, I haven't really talked about it. So, yeah. Um, Bryce and I found out that we were expecting again. We found out and we were both in, like, a state of shock for a little bit. And then we were like, okay, all right, baby number four is coming. You know, you don't, you find out you're pregnant. Like, that's when the timer starts. That's when things start speeding up. The baby doesn't wait. So, when I tell you guys that we had just got to the point where we were like, we were like, all right, baby number four is coming. Like, this is wild, but like, we're gonna do this. We know who's got our back, like we're prepared. It's it's best for me to be able to talk about it when I'm in my high moment than to try to pull out this camera when I'm at my lowest point because then like I would not be able to talk about it. Because it's healing for me to share what I'm going through and I also feel like it will in return, you know, let other families, mothers, parents, dads, whoever know that they're not alone as well because I know when I hear about other moms going through this as unfortunate as it is and as much as I hate that somebody else had to experience this, it, it helps me to know that I'm not alone. So the same exact day, probably 20 minutes before we found out I had just decided what I want, wanted the pregnancy reveal to be. I had just told Bryce what I wanted to do, and I went upstairs and used the bathroom, and yeah. So, of course, I went into, like, a state of shock, crying, whatever, but I had a lot of people telling me, like, oh, you know, some women get their periods. Even the doctors were like, it's, it's usual, it's not unusual for mothers to experience bleeding in their first trimester but i never experienced that with any of my pregnancies um so again it was just a lot it was a lot going on but fast forward the pregnancy um and it's been a lot like it's it's been a series of emotions i've experienced denial i've experienced the bargaining i've experienced the yeah, my camera likes to overheat, but yeah. I've experienced, I think it's like the the five stages of grief. I wanna say I've experienced all of them, but they kind of like don't go in order. There's like, I still go through kind of like the denial, the denial stage and I'll say like, oh, I, I probably was never pregnant. It was probably just a very delayed period and yeah, just all you can do is just take it day by day and time is my best friend right now. All I can say is that you just, you never know. You never know what people are going through in their homes. You, ne you never know. Like you really honestly never know because some people still get out the house and go about doing things that they would normally do. Like me going to Walmart right now. Nobody would see me at Walmart and just assume that I just had a miscarriage, you know? Um, people still have to get up and either go to work or continue to take care of their kids, take care of their homes, go out and about, get buy groceries. Like, you you still have a life that you have to do after trauma happens. Never know. So, it just it's so easy and it takes just one second, at the most five seconds, to just be kind um to people and just slow down like just slow down you know I feel like this um is definitely a test of my faith but or it tried it tried to be like a pop quiz of my faith but my faith is so strong in the midst of me going through it I was like the enemy will not win like, I know that's exactly what's trying to happen here. He's trying to break me because 
he is aware, the enemy is aware that I am aware that this is a season of so many blessings and so many things that are going to be happening for me and my family this year. And he is trying to get his foot in the door and it's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. So, yeah, you guys. (sighs) It's a lot. Life is definitely a thing and it's the beginning of the year but we don't get to choose we don't get to choose what happens and like what we what we face Um, but yeah guys so it's saturday we are getting ready to take aiden to a birthday party a last minute birthday party because he just gave us the invitation today so i'm going to get his friend a gift thank you if you sent us any words of comfort if you prayed for us anything that you felt like would have been helpful to me and my family um thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you it does not go unnoticed and i definitely feel all of the strength and the love that you guys are sending to our home in my hours of strength so yeah we love you guys. Let me show y'all what I got. So, I got him this Pokemon booster box. Wait, this isn't a booster box. This is a, what are these called? I can't remember, but there's a lot of different Pokemon packs in here. I got Mook, some teeth and crackers. And then I got Bryce a t-shirt, cause you never have too many t-shirts. Okay. Anybody else, like, I don't know. I just feel like a real adult now because the way that the robes be catching my, my eye, it's kind of sad. Ugh. Boy, you summertime fine, huh? Shaj, a tank top and some shorts? You in Cali? <laughs> oh. Ha. Hey. Wanna? It's nice outside. What? I'm coming. What's up, family? It's another day. It's Sunday. We are ready to go to church. We're trying. Let me pick y'all up when I can talk to y'all. Everybody's all dolled up in their Sunday best. And yeah, we're trying out a new church today. I saw it like randomly on social media a couple weeks back and talked to Bryce about it and I was like I feel like we should go check it out I ended up kind of like talking us out of going because I just I don't know I'm just nervous about going to a church that's kind of like overly saturated with a bunch of people and I just feel like I don't have that like personal relationship with the pastor or you know, I just kind of, I'm just, we're, we're Baptist. We're used to being seen, you know. We're used to being, <laughs> being able to, like, socialize and, you know. If you know, you know. Bryce took Aiden to a birthday party yesterday, as I was telling you guys about, and he ran into somebody that goes to that church, and the guy just, like, randomly came over to Bryce and ended up bringing up that church. And so Bryce called me and he was like, I feel so fine. They have two different services on Sunday. So they have a 10 o'clock and they have a 12 o'clock. Y'all, the um, line is ridiculously long. But if you have kids, you get to go to like the main parking lot. Basically the front door. We get a check mark for that. You've been made for the streets. You've been anointed for the streets. You've been built for the streets. Jesus articulated it this way. You are the salt. Did you hear what I just said? God has not called us just to be critics of culture. He's called us to be contributors to the transformation of it. Purpose is an answer to a problem. Goliath represents the problems you're supposed to solve but your Goliath is in a place. And and some of us, listen to me, 
we agitated by the Goliaths you assigned to. David's street was the valley of Elah. That might not be your street, but we all have a street. I'm just, I'm just using that as a metaphor, not for the streets. Like, we for the streets. <laughs> so if your life has changed, great. But if you stop there, that's not incorrect, it's incomplete. There's a street or some streets that you've been assigned to. And your life change is so that you can bring change to the streets. We're at a church now. So many great things. We really enjoyed the church today. The message was amazing. It was definitely all up in my business. <laughs> all up in my business. Uh, I think, I don't know, it's just, it's just really. The Lord is crazy. I think I've just been like a little speechless after the service because Hello. I'm just like processing everything, you know. <laughs> you start seeking things, especially like a church home. You're seeking a church home. You know that not every church is going to check all the boxes. Like that's just not, it's just not going to happen. It's always going to be something, but I ain't find nothing today. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it pretty good. I can't shake. It's close. Way closer than even how long it took us to get there. Because the GPS took us in a big circle for whatever and reason. You. And I knew where, I know exactly where it is. So it's close. Um, I think it'll have a big, big impact on us. <laughs> Pastors, great. Sermon was great. You know, just the whole atmosphere, the kids. You know, how you check them in. They said they loved it. They said they don't want to go to any other the church. Other church, yeah. Because they feel comfortable. Of course, you know, they were nervous at first. But, like, when we went to go pick them up, the lady that was in Aiden's class, she was like, he's amazing. And then... Myla like saw me and then she smiled and then she like acted like she was gonna go back and play and they drew pictures Yeah, they did some artwork. They gave them snacks um, It was really nice. It was really really nice, but I definitely feel like this is like a church Where we can grow and I just I have a feeling of Like involvement here like I don't think that we're just gonna be sitting just sitting there you know yeah. Sunday after Sunday after Sunday I definitely want to get involved obviously like in the music genre and it's just so crazy how you just meet people that like are already in those spaces because Bryce was talking to a guy who we just thought you know just a random guy and his wife um, sings in the sings at the church so I'm just yeah, like right, yeah. She it's was really just like, crazy. when he showed me, when he pointed it out, she was on the screen, and it was like, what? the guy that he was talking about that he shouted out, Yeah. and her was like, in the front, saying, like, that's crazy. Two together. He's like, that's her right there, and Red J. That's just, oh, it's oh, insane, because I remember looking up the church, and that was one of the things where I was like, I don't know if I want to go there, because I know that I want to be involved in a church musically. <laughs> But I could tell that this was like an audition type of church. And I was like, I don't really want to do that. Like, I don't feel like I should have to audition this thing for the Lord, you know? But they are, they put on production. So obviously they can't, they can't just put anybody up there. I get it. It needs to be like vocalists, soloists, people who can carry the tunes if need be. I'm just excited. So yeah, I definitely think that we found a church home. <laughs> um, and it didn't take long to get out like I yeah, thought it was. It was not, I thought it was about to take a whole hour. Well, when to I took a, a look life. around, it's not that many people. I mean, it's a lot of people, but it's not like we've been to churches where it's more like William Murphy Church is so much bigger but this church is definitely going to grow for sure yeah, it won't they're be gonna there. grow out of that location yeah, it won't be there long no uh <laughs> so that is coming but like the people like when you're walking in everybody is like talking to you and 
they're making it a point to say something to you yeah. and so you don't feel like you're just another number and I'm just like really excited. God, I talked to yesterday Bye-bye. at the birthday party. He was saying that <laughs> he does gotcha. series. He does a, series, a, um, but he the series that he's in now is called In the Streets, and it's really good. It's like, wow, I'm really for the streets. We started on the first. The first the day first was day the of first the day of his new series. <laughs> but um, I don't know where everybody that follows us on this channel you know, are from, but he does have two locations. He has one in Atlanta, and he has one in New Jersey. And his location in Atlanta... <laughs> Yes, so two up there. Oh, it's two in New Jersey and one in Atlanta. And the one here in Atlanta is not like in Atlanta City. It's like on the outskirts. <sighs> the Lord is good, y'all. He's he is he's good in his mercy. Yes. It's everlasting. No. We are back home. I'm back in my robe. The what I started off initially with this morning. Feeling good, feeling comfy, feeling cozy. Mookie's over here. Trying to find scraps, you guys. She found her sister's cupcake. And she's eating it over here silently because she doesn't want us to know that y'all saw that. Hey! Say bye, guys. Bye. Mama's upstairs playing. Say bye, baby. Say bye, baby. You looking for some more cupcake? I'm looking for some more. <laughs>